Well, my people, uh, let's try tackling uh, another incredible uh, kite problem in here. And I see by the tick marks, we do have a kite. Looks like these two sides are equal, and it looks like these two adjacent sides are equal. We have a kite. And when we have a kite, we have all these amazing uh, triangles that are built into it uh, be, uh, uh, when we draw the diagonals. And uh, I see we have some numbers and some expressions for some of these angles and some of these sides in here. So it looks like this uh, segment in here is 6. It looks like this segment in here is 2x. And it looks like this angle in here is going to be 5x plus 40. And it looks like uh, this side in here, uh, that is 5x plus 10. So if we're looking at the instructions here, we want to find x we want to, and we want to find the perimeter of this kite. Um, we need to know um, how to set up an equation in order to solve for, uh, solve for x. Well, I do see an axis of symmetry for this kite in here, um, but I can't say that 6 is equal to 2x. That's not going to work. Um, I have this side in here, 5x plus 10. That would imply that this side is 5x plus 10 because they're congruent. Um, and I really can't connect any of the sides right now to form an equation. But what I do see right here is these angles uh, within the diagonals of the kite, they are perpendicular. So we have an equation to set up, 5x plus 40 equals... 90 degrees. So that's going to be the ticket to solve for x. So what's solve for x in here? We have 5x equals 50 and x turns out to be 10. So it looks like we're done with part one. We found x. And what are we going to do now to find the perimeter? Well, uh, let's fill in some of the sides that we know. Well, if that side over here was 5x plus 10, it looks like 5 times 10 is 50, plus 10 more, that would be 60 units for that side, which implies that side is 60 units. And if I have 2 times 10, that would be equal to 20. So um, we know a few segments in here. Which two do we really want? We really want these two in here, and those are going to be the same because that would help us find the perimeter of the kite. Well, I do see a right triangle in here. I'll highlight it in yellow right there. But it looks like we only know one side. We just know 20. And the same thing is true on this side. It's the same exact triangle. Those two triangles are congruent. I only know one side there. It's just 20. So it's hard to find the uh, side in here. I'll call it W. Uh, unless we know this side in here. And I'll use three tick marks for that. And... That's going to be congruent to that side as well. So I really wish I knew the length of AC or half of AC, which is going to be those two segments in the center here, which is three tick marks and three tick marks. But what I do notice um, from this top triangle is I do know two sides of that triangle. Notice one side is 60, the other one is 6. So I'm going to make up a new variable in here. I'm going to call this V. We can solve for V using any one of the two top triangles, and I'm going to use Pythagoras for that. So I'm going to go V squared plus 6 squared equals 60 squared. Notice I'm putting the 60 by itself. It's the hypotenuse. So I'm going to say uh, V squared equals 36 equals 3,600. And so V squared equals uh, 3,564. And I need to take the square root of 3564. I'm going to try to do that right on my uh, uh, tablet here. And my tablet tells me it's 59.66692. So I'm going to write 59.6992. That represents uh, V right there. So uh, what are we going to do? So now we're going to use one of the, the triangle on the bottom here, uh, this triangle right here. Let's try to use a different color. This 
this purple triangle right there. Now that I know two sides, I can find W. And once I know W, I can find the perimeter. So how are we going to find W? Well, once again, we have to recognize it's part of a right triangle. We can solve for W. And so how are we going to do that? Well, let me raise some of this work up here. And what do we know? Well, we know uh, 20 squared plus 59.6992 and a bunch of other decimals squared should be equal to W squared. And so let's do some more arithmetic. 20 squared is 400. And if you think about it, um, we just took the square root of this number, which was V squared. And so since V is 59.6992 and a bunch of other decimals squared, V squared has to be exactly uh, 3,564. And that equals W squared. Well, all together here, it looks like we have 3,964. 3, that equals W squared. And in order to find W, we need to take the square root. And my tablet's going to help me out in here. I'm going to say take the square root of 39.64, and it's telling me it is 62 something. So this is 62.9603. So that implies that this side is going to be 62.9603. We are so close to finishing. We just have to find the perimeter of this kite, which means I have to. Um, add up four numbers. Well, it looks like uh, if I take this number right here and all of its decimals, what I'm going to do to that number is I'm going to times it by two, I get 125 something. And then I'm going to take that number and add 120 to it because that is 60 plus 60. I should be able to come up with the answer and that is 2 45.92, etc., etc. So this is an intense kite problem because you have to really understand how the diagonals create right triangles and how you can uh, find segments and sides of all these kites based upon using Pythagoras. So hopefully this was uh, helpful to be able to write an equation for x and then able to set up uh, using some uh, facts about Pythagoras to find all the remaining segments and uh, perimeter. All right, we'll see you soon.